Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Rock. You feel me? Take two is, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do a W, but we here for a different type of video once again, you know what I'm saying? Whiteboard, you them got a nigga like me. Shit, I ain't really trying to be no teacher for them. I gotta put my subscribers on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all probably seen my last video. Video getting my car on my birthday, bro. That video, it wouldn't have even been possible. Well, I'm gonna talk to y'all about today in this video. How to get emotion in your team. What is motion like? I had to find motion having some going for yourself. Not being steady and like I mean I'm perfectly going for the fact that you constantly going, even if you just going by put one percent every day, like you still going, you know? Like just to get into it, you know what I'm saying? Just so I'm not wasting none of your time. We just gonna start with our first point. The first segment to get in motion to your teens is setting goals. So y'all gotta know what you wanna achieve. What I want to achieve, I want to give me a car. We just gonna use a car for something. I know if I want to achieve, give me a car. So how do I do that? You gotta create a plan towards it. I know I want to get a car, so I'm gonna get to it. So how do you create a plan for your goal? I gotta start with a deadline. All right, how fast do I want to do it? So second, you gotta put the work and effort into it to get to it. And third, you just plan it out in a timely manner. And so, imagine yourself after completing your goal. Think about it like this. I want a car. Now, I have to envision myself in a car. All right, when I get a car, I'm finna drive around late nights all the time. When I get a car, I'm finna go see all the people I love, something like that. So now you have to imagine yourself in that car. You have to imagine yourself achieving your goal already. You have to imagine yourself in the future where you already achieve your goal. Once you start to build an emotional connection to that feeling, you gonna, you gonna end up manifesting it. You gonna get a lot closer to it. Cause now it's not only your mind that's being put to it, it's your heart. So as you said, all your goals, what do you wanna do this? Bro, get a job, bro. Oh, get a job, you broke ass, oh! Y'all want extra money, get a job. Have a side hustle, have somewhere where you can make money. If you mowing people lawns, long, long, if you doing DoorDash, Uber Eats, even if you, you know what I'm saying, selling. Have a way that you making money, bro. There's nothing wrong with getting a job, bro. Nothing at all. A job creates responsibility. Like, just because you got a job, don't mean you're wrong, bro. Because on social media, everybody massacring, nine to five, all of you working nine to five, you broke, all that. Get your head out the media, bro. The media don't matter, bro. A job creates responsibility, bro. They give you something to do every day, bro. They give you something to work towards and help you achieve your goal, bro. Look for a job in your spare time. You got MD. You got so many apps that you can use to find jobs. To work right now, like, if your parents shoot or whatever, it's something that you can do around the house. My mom was like, she'll let me clean her gutters and she'll pay me to clean her gutters on the house. Or just ask around for like side hoes. If you cool with your neighbors, ask them if they need help. If you cool with your family, ask them if they need help. Put yourself out there. Like, that, that's one thing you gotta do with a job. To get a job, you have to put yourself out there. So make sure you put yourself out there. Budgeting. That's what gets most people is budgeting, bro. People have so such bad spending habits, bro, that they end up just getting themselves in a repetitive cycle just because they don't know how to save money. They don't know how to treat their money right, so their money not treating them right. A lot of people be struggling because they don't know how to budget. Hey, but he got two rules. These are the garage rules. I have an 80 20 rule and a 50 25 25 rule. What's the 80 20 rule? So it all comes down to a percentage. So I'm gonna say 80% of my money and 20% of my money, I'm gonna spend it. You're getting 500. I'm gonna save 400 of that and spend $100. That's what you're doing. Strict, strict. I need to reach this goal of saving. Big goal, you wanna do the 80 20 rule. That's gonna get you right. Over the next five weeks, hey. 12, 16, two bands, five weeks. You already had two bands say after only spending five hundred of your dollars. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes like you have to spend more than that. But if you have no bills, then this is you. I right, so with the 50, 25, 25 rule, you're gonna save half your money, half of the money on leisure and assessment. Let's just say you smoke. That money, 
you can use on smoking, things of that nature. You like going out, things of that, just for your leisure. That 25% that you saving, that's for like your necessities. Ass, food, things of that nature, and that 50 you still say. So fine, honey, this is how you should always be completely. If you're not saving for a goal, this is what you should do. 125 on your necessary stuff, food, gas, clothes, water, 125 on your leisure. With that 80 20, you, 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 you don't really have that much money to spend because you're putting, you're really putting all that effort into that goal. And you can live off $100 a week if you're not paying for bills things like that. Now, compared to this, this is just, that's like the same necessity bills, things of that nature. And then, that's your leisure. A leisure that's only available to you after you finish your necessity. Why do you say like the same and like a leisure? Unless you're able to do that, don't waste your bread, bro. If you know you're struggling and you be smoking weed and you know you're struggling, you need to put the weed down, bro. Because you're not at a point in life where you can afford to smoke weed. Like just cause you have the money for it doesn't mean that you can afford it. Affording something means that if I spend this money on this thing today, if I never get that money back, I'm still chilling. So make sure don't waste your bread on parties, weed, Drinking, all that, don't waste your money, bro. Unless you got it out there. This is how you have trouble spending. So if you have trouble spending, go to like your bank history or whatever and see what you've been spending on. This is use a casino, for example. You spend 750 on a casino every week. That's 1500 every two weeks. That's cost you $3,000 every single month. You like, damn, where did my money go? Hey, you look at your past, you see, damn, I already spent 3000 on the casino. So now you have to risk with your thought that, damn, I already spent, this is like 500 on some gas, you feel me? When I needed money to do something else. Start trying to eliminate that thing that you're spending the most on for your life. Even if you spend a lot of money just like driving around, like, if you, if you know you shouldn't be driving around, like, if you know, like, you don't got it to drive around, then stay in the house. And listen, after y'all budget y'all money good, now y'all treat y'all money good, now you got to invest. So, invest in yourself, for example, my next goal is to give me a laptop. Invest in things that's going to bring better for yourself. Like, books give you knowledge. Uh, with a camera, if you want to do YouTube, get you a camera, you feel me? Or use your phone. That's the most important thing, bro, because you live your life every single day, so if you're not doing things for yourself, then I mean, you really can't enjoy life. All right, so now you put the money in towards big goal. So like with my car, with like the 80 20 rule, a certain amount of money out of my check every single week. Get you guys a savings account. Put that money in my savings account, and all that money went towards my car. So all your excess money, money that you had like laying to the side, even if it's just a few, a few dollars, put it in stocks, put it in the stock market, got research on stocks, you can put it in an RA account, bills over time, or just put money into your own life insurance, because that's a return on, on your business. All right, so the next one, reward yourself. Have excess money, things of that nature, or if you know that you've been doing good, all right, I'm improving, all right, I'm having good uh, spending habits, all right, I'm starting to save my money. Now, this is when you reward yourself. I'm going to uh, give me something to eat today because I did this. Or, you know what, I'm going to go to the movie. I'm going to uh, have a night out because I noticed my hard work and ethic that I put into my life. Now I'm going to reward myself. All right, so this one is creating a reward system. So with life, there's always good and bad. You always want to balance shit out. Life and like work and shit is stressing you out. You need to be able to balance that shit out with your reward system. Because your reward system, that's what keeps everything balanced. Putting goals out, then you'll reach. And once you reach those goals, that's when you'll reward yourself. So I could be like, hey, once I get my car, I'm going to reward myself by taking a trip to Houston or something. Because I did what I was supposed to do on my end. Want to be accountable to yourself? Don't have a consistent reward system if you're not putting in the work that you're supposed to be putting in. You feel me? So let's just say you had a certain goal and you didn't reach that goal in the time frame that you wanted to. You shouldn't go out there and reward yourself because you didn't do what, what you promised yourself you was going to do. So sometimes you have to punish yourself for the betterment of yourself. And most people, they can't punish themselves.
God's want to make sure that you're giving yourself a chance. Like I said with your goals. That's why you put a time limit on it. If you did something once, you can do it again. Let's just say you was able to save $2,000 in your first month working, right? So this month, how you should challenge yourself, all right, now I'm going to try to save $2,500 next month. All right, so grind is never over, bro. You're never finished, bro. You'll never be complete, bro. That's life. Even after you achieve one goal, you can't get comfortable, bro. So once you achieve your, your first goal, all right, it's on to the next, bro. It's motion, bro. Motion is constant moving, bro. So after one goal, next goal, next goal, next goal, next goal. It's not next goal. And you just gonna see here, no. And these are a few ways to challenge yourself. You can challenge yourself like I said, saving more money. Not spending money on weed, not spending money on alcohol. I spend spending our money on fast food. That's a great way to challenge yourself. Always look for the next opportunity. Like I said, after you do one thing, it's on to the next. Never be sad. Stay uncomfortable, bro. Always be always be uncomfortable, bro. Never never get too comfortable, bro. Like Future said. Bitch, don't get too comfortable. Better not get too comfortable. Don't get too comfortable, bro. Because once you get too comfortable, you're going to get in a cycle where you stay in that comfortability. And now you're not doing shit with y'all like no more. You back in the same cycle. And then you have to watch the video all over again. Prove to yourself that you're capable, bro. All this, this is for you, bro. This is not to prove yourself to anyone. Your biggest enemy, your biggest challenge, your biggest nemesis is yourself, bro. The only person that you're in competition with. Do your research, bro. It just hit different. It hit different. It just fits different when you do your research. Do your research, bro. Crazy. I gotta get on the internet. I gotta, I gotta look at that. I gotta go do some research and check that out. <laughs> at the end of the day, just like me, nobody else in this world is gonna be able to do shit for you unless you do it for yourself, bro. And watch the people who are already there, bro. Watch successful people, bro. What can you learn from watching somebody who's unsuccessful, bro? Nothing. The only thing you can learn is how to stay unsuccessful. I mean, watch somebody who's actually already done it, who's actually already successful. That's how you pick up and learn from them. And now you're improving yourself in your life. Research jobs and careers are a high income. So find out what you want to do in life, bro. Let's just say you want to be a doctor, right? And you look up the income of a doctor and you just know the life you want to live and you know that income ain't going to support it. Your brain is surgeon. <laughs> Research yourself before you join a scam pass, bro. Bro, don't be gullible. Don't waste your money, bro. Because they got clients here saying, oh, I made $10,000 a month. Like, you don't know if that's a pay after. You don't know nothing, bro. Like, you feel me? So, do your own research, bro, because they hit different. All right, prepare yourself for your future, bro. If you're watching this video and you see this shit, bro, you realize, like, damn. I really be fake on Instagram like I have most, I really don't. Take this video into consideration, bro. Now, make the decision. All right, let's get some motion, nigga. Hey, yo. Yeah. Last one. Don't be sad, bro. Please, bro. Whatever you do, bro, don't be sad, bro. Once you start to be sad, bro, you gonna end up getting a cycle of you being sad, bro. And once you sad, bro, you stuck, bro. I'm telling you. You don't wanna be that person that say it's stuck in the same nine to five cycle for the rest of your life, bro. You don't want to be that person, bro. And you don't have to, bro. And all sorts with just want to do better for yourself, bro. Just like ask yourself, do I want to see better for myself? And the answer is, bro, start your day, bro. Start your day, bro. But see, you feel me? It's a butter, right? You feel me? Take two ears, you feel me? Put them together, take a W, you know what I'm saying? Put y'all on to my little video. I know this is a little type, uh, different type of video. You know how y'all fuck with I'll see y'all in the next one. Time shit!